What's going on? Ryan Troy, back with another video for you today. Three new EOS R cameras from Canon and one new Z mirrorless camera from Nikon that isn't the Z9? Let's break this down. But first, I want to start with a question of the day. Now, I will put this towards the end, but none of you seem to ever make it to the end of my videos at all. We're going to talk about that too, but on a different day because I don't want to be petty right now. Question of the day. Have you ever sold any camera gear and have you ever bought any used camera gear? If so, make sure you let me know down in the comment section below and let me know how your experience was. As many of you know, I do my behind the scenes with a Nikon Z50, which is pretty much equivalent to the M50 from Canon, but I would recommend the M50 for Canon just because of the support. So obviously I wasn't too happy with the Z50. So I went ahead on to KEH, started a trade, um, they did a zoom call. I showed them my equipment. I showed them my Z50 and I actually also sold my D750. Now, as you know, that camera is pretty old. That camera is really old, but they end up giving me 1800 for both, right? Plus a 10% increase if I was to use the money in their store to buy gear, which I did. Now I would have got the Nikon Z62, but they didn't have it, but they had a Z6. And since I only wanted this camera to do video and the camera is pretty good at video, I decided to just go with that and I was going to take the rest of the money and buy a 35 1.8 but as they got my equipment like they had it on their site but when they got my equipment then um, the 35 millimeter wasn't in stock anymore so they just sent me the rest of the money uh, through my PayPal I was still able to get the 10% towards the trade but they sent me the rest of the money through PayPal. They made the experience super easy. So after that, I joined their affiliate team. There's a link down below if you want to go ahead on and uh, trade in any gear. Uh, it's free to sign up and I get a little commission for everybody that does sign up. So feel free to use the link below. Check out this site. Sign up. Now, let's get on to the Canon rumors. OK, now I'm starting to see that it's more than just Nikon people that are subscribed and a lot of y'all get mad when I throw shots at like Canon and stuff like that. But have you ever seen all the other photographers on YouTube? Have you ever seen the memes all over the Internet? I think it's safe to say that I get a pass to be able to joke on Canon and other companies, considering we get beat up by like every single person out there. Right. So I got a pass. All right. If you see me make some jokes, just chuckle it and be like, ah, ha, ha, he shoots Nikon or something like that. Because. I'm, I'm Nikon, gang, gang, gang. You know what I mean? I gotta, gotta represent, gotta hold it down. Now, according to CanonRumors.com, there are rumored for it to be three new EOS R cameras, um, the R7, the R8, and the R9, okay? These cameras are APS-C, the crop sensor cameras. The EOS R7 is rumored to be announced later this year and possibly come out either quarter four or quarter one of 2022. OK, now the EOS R8, this is the one that's interesting to me because this one right here is more towards vloggers. And if you are on YouTube and you ever tried to like start a channel or anything like that, you know, the camera that they recommend is the M50. This camera right here will be pretty much, in my opinion, its replacement. This is the camera that all of you vloggers on YouTube or, you know, content creators that's just starting. This will be the camera that you will want. Now, it's no, you know, date or anything. Keep in mind, these are just rumors. So it's no date on when this will be coming out. Um, but they said the R7 is the, supposed to be the first one to come out. And then the R9 is based for like entry level photographers. So if you just jumping in, but you can't afford uh, R5 or R6, um, this will be the camera for you to go ahead on and get and learn photography and all of that. I always recommend not jumping in on crop sensor. That's just me because I kind of I feel like I outgrew that. Um, so if I was you, I would just find the cheapest if you want to stick with Canon, I will find the cheapest. I think it's the RP. I think. Don't quote me on that. If if I'm wrong, let them know in the comment section. I don't want to give anybody any wrong information. But I think it's the RP. If I was you, I'd jump in on the cheapest and then go from there. Um, the the ISO and everything like that on the full frame camera is just it's way better. And I'm pretty sure it changed from when I shot on my old D90 back in the day. Well, well back in my day. Mm -hmm. Um, that was horrible with ISO. Like I couldn't really take it anywhere. 
once you start getting into these full frame cameras this iso will be great and i know you're gonna once you get your camera for the first time you're gonna want to shoot all these events you want to take it around your family you're probably not going to invest in any good flash or anything like that you probably start shooting on auto which is going to already boost your iso up and the last thing you're going to want to do is have this nasty grain now the grain in the full frame camera in my opinion let me make sure i say that for y'all beat me up on that as well the grain and nose like it's it's beautiful man you can you can take these cameras up now to like 2000 iso no problem what i'm saying on my d90 if i went above like is iso 400 it was a problem it was a horrible problem so you know these cameras like i said i'm just reporting the rumors um the vloggers for the the r8 that's supposed to be coming out i still do think that would be perfect if you want to do video that's kind of different now the r9 like i said that is supposed to be dedicated towards entry-level photographers so only keep in mind what i just said with the r9 as far as the other cameras i don't know what the r7 is supposed to be for but the r8 just really seems like a real good deal a real good camera if you are getting into the content create vlogger space okay i'll keep you updated if i find anything else out on that uh on those three cameras right there but let's go on to the nikon news okay now nikonrumor.com they got two more images of this leaked vintage nikon camera nikon z camera i'm i'm just trying to keep my composure man i'm just trying to <clears throat> because it's like if this is true right and we're supposed to get an announcement on june 28th if this is true okay why why and why right now does it look good yeah it looks great it looks amazing right i mean it's even missing the hand grip it looks like an old nikon camera it's rumored to be called the nikon z fc right it's supposed to be vintage style it's an aps-c camera the reason why i'm upset is because we all we know that nikon users are waiting for a specific camera they're waiting for the z9 right why do we need this and the reason i i want to know that is you don't even support your already z50 which is your crop sensor camera right you don't even support that we can't get batteries we can we got like what two lenses for it I'm not trying to adapt all my, my old lenses, even though I don't have any old crop sensor lenses, but if I did, I wouldn't be trying to adapt them to it. Um, and this camera is supposed to be similar to the Z50. It is gonna come with a kit lens and it's gonna start at $1,000 from what the rumors are saying. Now, why? Give us a Z9 or give us new Nikon Z lenses. Like what's, this this is this is the reason why people like Canon shooters and Sony shooters sit back and point and laugh at us. This is why right here, because why would you do this? You may see this and be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. I would love to spend a thousand dollars on the camera that I'll just put in my pocket. And you, that's fine. Right. If this was two years down the line and they covered us with all of the lenses and they, they made sure we was happy. We had all the camera bodies we needed and they did this. I would be applauding Nikon for this. I would I would be like, yo, y'all are hip. Y'all are cool. This is this is really, really good. But considering how far we are behind from the other uh, people that went mirrorless, this this ain't it chief this this just this is not what we what we need to be doing but it is what it is and speaking of lenses when i spoke with keh um and remember i said i tried to get the 35 millimeter 1.8 but they didn't have it anymore they informed me that there were actually other 35 millimeter 1.8 z mount lenses and that was like a surprise to me because i'm like you sure about that and it was like yeah so i know that viltrox made an 85 uh z mount lens I, I knew that but there are actually other companies that's making z mount lenses the only problem with that is they are actually manual focus lenses and i'm sorry but i'm just not about that life i don't have time to be twisting and stuff i'm i'm used to eye auto focus and everything now i'm barely even shooting on my ea uh, on my evf i'm just click 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 i'm becoming a photographer that i tell people not to be pray for me but anyway so yeah i came to think of this thing after i heard that and it's like 
Do you know how much money Sigma, Tamron, even Viltrox could be making if they just decided to only focus on Nikon? Like Nikon mirrorless system. Nikon put out their roadmap. We see what they have coming, what they don't have coming. Imagine if Sigma made something like a 105 1.4. Imagine if they made that. If they made a lens like that, I'm buying it. And and if they did what they did to Nikon with the F mount, like for instance, they sold the um they sold the 24 to 72.8 for like half the price of what Nikon did. If if they gave me a 14 to 24 2.8, I want to say, if they gave me that lens for half the price of what the Nikon Z mount lens is, I'm buying it. You know what I mean? Like Nikon's coming out with a new macro. It's a thousand dollars right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to buy that. But just saying, just if I wasn't going to buy that and Sigma came out with one, because currently I use Sigma's 105 2.8 macro lens right now for the F mount. If they came out with one for the Z mount, I'm buying it. If they, if they came out with a 70 to 200 2.8, half the price, of the one that Nikon has I'm buying it and the reason why I'm buying it is because I don't use that lens right now like I don't own that lens right and if I did get it I don't think that I would use it a lot so why would I pay 2500 I think it costs why would I pay that for that lens if I can get it half price like 1200 1200 yeah I may want to start doing weddings at that point I may start shooting you know portraits at 200 with a 2.8 because i heard it looks great it's just not in my budget not something i'm focused on not what a lot of my work is right now so i don't really have a reason to spend money like that on that lens um i would love to get a 14 to 24 2.8 i would love that tamron sigma Bill trucks what are you waiting for y'all are focused on sony y'all are focused on canon you literally have a group of die hard nikon fans that want new lenses from nikon nikon has showed you their roadmap and it seems like none of that stuff is in the making you can make so much money and hey by the way bill trucks if you ever want, you know, to send your 85 1.8 Z mount lens to somebody to review, another person, have your team get with my team. Well, I, I don't have a team, but, you know, just make that hotline blink and I'll go ahead on and knock that review out for you. I, I really want to try that lens. I may end up renting it. I'm not sure, but I want to see how it stacks against the 85 1.8. If any of y'all tried that Viltrox 85 1.8, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, I just released my new preset package. I dropped the video on it. If you haven't checked it out, trust me, a lot of y'all that bought it, I just want to say thank you. Um, y'all showed me a lot of pictures. I posted it on my Instagram. The photos, it, it makes me feel real good because a lot of other people that make presets like the companies, they suck and they hide behind just the brand of that company. I can't really hide behind no brand. If my preset sucks, y'all can come to my comment section and say, hey, those presets suck. Y'all could come to my Instagram right on my, you know what I mean? I, can't, I don't have anything to hide behind. So I had to make sure that my presets stood on their own feet i had to make sure that they did really really good because the last thing i wanted was people to like i just didn't want my name to be bad these presets are they're phenomenal and thank you for everybody showing me if you do buy the presets and you put it on some of your pictures go ahead on and show me your before and afters um even tag me on instagram i've been posting everybody that showed me their before and afters and it it, it feels great just the fact that you know seeing my what my presets do on other camera systems uh canon sony and seeing that it's it looks the same you know what i mean one thing that i didn't mention in that video that i do want to mention right now though is make sure you change your camera profile i thought that if you had a nikon you wouldn't need to but you actually still need to change your camera profile and i will link to the video right here or actually i think it's right here yeah right here i'll link to that video on how you change your camera profile in lightroom and after that it'll, it'll look even better a lot of y'all show me what it was it's still being on adobe color and they look good but let's take it to that next level okay let's let's make these these photos look even better than that now that's all i have for the uh i was about to say nikon rumors that's all i have for the rumors the camera rumors the camera news um i'm gonna try to keep this going every week 
depends on what the news and everything is. I'm going to try to keep this going every week. The last video that I put out about the um, about just Nikon news in general, and I'm not saying it's only going to be Nikon news. Don't beat me up, Canon. Canon, I don't want no smoke. Um, but that video did really well. So, you know, I, I see that a lot of people care about stuff like that so i'm gonna try to incorporate that more i have another challenge coming up i haven't i don't know if y'all saw my other photographer challenge but the new photographer challenge that i am about to film is going to be with disposable cameras okay so we're going to have a nice photographer challenge with disposable cameras the last one was natural light me and jonathan did that one it, it did great then i did a prop challenge before that i'm going to go because they out here cutting this grass and and it's loud. Listen, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.